Yeah, I know. I love, I love the empanadas. You better save me some, but we're going to give you a little food for thought now with author Marianne Monson. Thanks for joining us all the way from Thank Oregon. You. It's great to be here. Good to see you. And you have Utah roots. You, your mm -hmm. ancestors were Mormon pioneers. Yep. I think a lot of us relate to that in Utah. And you are the author of her Quiet Revolution, and this is the story of Dr. Martha Hughes Cannon. That's right. She was in the news here in Utah not mm -hmm. too long ago because yes. there was a big debate on whether we should take Philo Farnsworth's statue out of the uh -huh. National Gallery in Washington, D.C. and put Dr. Martha Hughes Cannon's statue in there, and it actually turned out that her statue is going there. Yep. So Martha won. <laughs> what, so why do you think this woman should be celebrated and celebrated as one of Utah's most influential people. Well, you know, the story of Martha is really remarkable. I think anyone who knows even the basics of her life is pretty dazzled. Um, she earned a medical degree from University of Michigan in the late 1800s. She went on to get an advanced medical degree from um, University of Pennsylvania, as well as a degree in oratory. Um, and then she returned to Utah. She started working at Deseret Hospital. Um, she uh, went into exile um, in, because of her polygamous lifestyle and then ultimately ran against her husband mm -hmm. uh, to become the first female state senator. In that the is yep. amazing. Yeah. Now, had Utah had state senators before Dr. Cannon was elected? Or was she in one of the first groups of Utah government? So, um, Utah had a territorial legislature mm. that had, uh, you know, male legislators serving on it. But in 1896, Utah became a state, and Martha was part of that very first state legislature. So she was one of yep. the. She was the first state senator in mm -hmm. that first group. That's mm -hmm. amazing, yeah. and she was uh, very important in the women's suffrage movement of she getting was. women the right to vote. Yeah. What role did she play in that? So she played a role, a significant role locally, working with um, with other women like Emily B. Wells. Um, but she also played a role nationally. She testified before Congress mm -hmm. um, about the importance of women's suffrage. She spoke as part of the Women's Congress at the Chicago Columbian Exposition in 1893. So she so. was a big advocate mm -hmm. and and really one of the main, not just Utah. Um, people in the suffrage movement, but nationally, yes, she was helping to move the needle a little bit. And now we're yeah. celebrating mm -hmm. um, the anniversary of the women's suffrage, mm -hmm. of us getting the right to vote. Yeah. How many years has it been? 100? Well, a hundred years for the U.S., mm -hmm. so the 19th Amendment um, in 1920, about 150 years just yesterday. Mm. Um, and that's why at the Senate, um, at the state capitol yesterday, there was a, a big party. There were 2,000 so, school kids there. So could <laughs> Utah women vote before national women could They vote? could, yeah. Isn't that interesting? Mm -hmm. That yep. is so fascinating. We're a big part of the suffrage story. Yep, now absolutely. you have a fascinating story yourself. You, oh, have, okay. you have Mormon pioneer heritage. Mm -hmm. um, you actually studied in Wales trying to track down some of her uh, history. Yes. What was that like? Yeah, it was it was wonderful. Wales is in a beautiful place. Uh, Martha was born in the town of Hlandidno, which took me a while Good to figure Welsh. out. Good <laughs> Welsh. Welsh is hard. And a lot of us have Welsh uh, backgrounds. But it took me a while to figure out how to pronounce that. Yeah. <laughs> See that. So it was neat seeing how she how she was born there, grew yeah. up there, and then came on over and yeah. really made a difference. So you have so much more in this book. One more reason people should pick up this book. One more reason. You know, I think Martha's life is really a story that so many modern readers can relate to because she was struggling to balance her career with her role as mother. Mm. Um, and both of those were really important to her. And then compounded with her religion and the federal persecution of her lifestyle at that time, which most of us hopefully <sighs> don't have to yes. deal with. <laughs> but so many things up mm -hmm. against her, yet she prevailed. And yeah. yet we are speaking her name to this day. That's right. Thank you for your role. In and helping to wake us up and show us all the amazing women in history. Thank you, Mary. Thank you. Such Thanks a pleasure so to meet you. And you can get Her Quiet Revolution wherever you can get books from Shadow Mountain Publishing. Thanks so much, and we'll be right back.